watching Market Guru on Bloomberg TV India. We've been in conversation with uh, S. Naren, CIO Equity and Fixed Income at ICSI Prudential AMC. And we were talking about the market outlook. One of the important trigger points here, and this, this has been what we are in the midst of right now, has been the earnings season itself. How do you rate this quarterly earnings season and any key takeaways that you've actually seen so far? See, the earnings season has been average. There have been companies which have disappointed, there have been companies which have delivered very good returns. Okay. You see, as a pack, you can see that industrials is a sector which actually disappointed. Oh. And our view has been that the capex cycle is clearly 12 to 18 months away. Yeah. And uh, now whether you start playing for the capex cycle, which may last for many years once it starts, do you play it now or do you wait, invest, because you're confident the cycle will improve. True. So that's a very tough call. That's why today at this point of time when people ask me where is their undervaluation, I find that there is no undervaluation. There's no material overvaluation. True. So that's why when someone asked me, I said if you stay invested, time will give you the returns because over, over time earnings will improve and earnings will give you the potential for returns. Patients will pay. I think yes. that's going to be the motive yes. for this market. I, I want to talk about the sector in focus which is going to be technology. Uh, some cash-rich companies, some little pressure coming in on the buyback front, some very disappointing numbers from overseas as well. I won't ask you to comment specifically, but, but how do you think the dynamics of this sector is going to play out from here? What do you think will be, uh, will it be an outperforming sector valuation here as well? Not that comfortable, one would argue, but on the growth front at least? Well, actually, valuations are not excessive uh, at this point of time. In fact, surprisingly, you'll find some of the small caps have got re-rated. The large caps have not got re-rated. So I think the sector is fairly valued. I think uh, as long as you are sure that rupee won't go to 58 or 56, then I think the sector is still a very attractive medium-term opportunity. And for us, if uh, as I mentioned, this is a sector jock. Mm. And when the jock happens, you get an opportunity to buy. So that's what it looks to us at this point of time. That uh, basically there's nothing wrong with the sector. It is just that, you know, just think about it. How many sectors in India have grown 14% over the last year? Yeah. So, uh, you know, I think uh, unfortunately in this sector, you know, there's so much of awareness of what happens in quarterly numbers. Too much transparency. That a growth of 15% is considered low. <laughs> just think about it. How many sectors I can show you where over the last three years? Now you'll be surprised to know there are so many consumer stocks in India mm. whose growth has come down to single digit. There are some where the growth has been zero. And uh, there isn't enough focus on that. Whereas here, whether it's 15 or 16 or 17, <laughs> there's so much of focus. The, the benchmark probably set so high in the last few years. But, you know, talking about, the, you, you mentioned the broader markets, specifically on the IT space. But overall itself, we start off talking about the market momentum and how it could play out. What about the mid-cap space? Because as you mentioned, not only the IT space, but a whole host of mid-caps have been re-rated in the last 8 to 10 months. Do you believe that there are still some value picks there? Is there still value left in the mid-cap space? And if one really hunts for it, one can probably pick them up? See, actually, it's selectively, there are stocks where you, you can make picks. But if you take sector or theme uh -huh. or a capitalization range, that big opportunity is, is no longer there. Okay. We have to do stock picking. We have to do much more work than we have to do in the last 10 months. And uh, clearly, uh, you know, our belief is, you know, uh, market going up 5% a month, which was almost the stage uh, in mid caps and small caps for the last 10 months. That can't con continue, you know that. So obviously, I think the time is for much harder work at our end. And uh, the, clearly, the three, year, three to five year view looks very good because what people fail to realize mm -hmm. is economies don't turn around in days. Yeah. Markets turn around in days. True. Markets also fall in days. <laughs> so the point is that what we think is that the economy is going to slowly improve. It will take a few years to improve. Okay. And the opportunity is to play the in investment over that Im economy yeah. improvement period. The first phase where you had a complete uh, rally due to change in sentiment, I think that's more or less done with. So from now on, it has to be the economy improvement. Economy improvement will happen over yeah. a three to five year period and that's the kind of opportunity which exists. Mm. So how would you play some of the themes such as divestment, uh, which will be an overhang of the market, one would assume, Narayan, given that there's going to be a lot of paper. But do you think that may do a little damage to the index level? But do you think that will at least get more participation back in this market? And do you think there will be enough appetite for it? Yeah, I think um, there will be huge appetite for divestment if properly priced and policies are clear. I think uh, the, that's going to be one of the big opportunities which I think will start in September and go on all the way till March. 
I think uh, if you look at it over the next 18 months, there are people who say that you're going to have tens of billions of dollars of fundraising happening. So which means this kind of keeps a lid on the market, but at the same time gives opportunities for people like us, mm -hmm. many investment opportunities to consider. So which is one of the reasons investing into the disinvestment over the next 18 months is a possibly something which we are looking at. And we think that that will give you returns, not over the 18 month period, but in the period beyond the 18 months. Mm -hmm. So then if one wants to actually look at this market, let's say from a 12 to 24 month horizon, you know, we, as you mentioned, we are we, we run up quite a bit in the last eight to ten months. We've all enjoyed a good run. The point is, how much more potential does this market have? Even if you want to increase the range from, let's say, two years to three years, what kind of growth potential can an investor actually, or return potential can an investor actually expect from this market? See, one, you should remember that none of us correctly guess markets correctly. <laughs> so, you know, the fact is that... that but, is but, but this is more from an expectation point of view. From an you expectation know. point of view, clearly, I think earnings should grow at around between 12 and 18 percent okay. over, per annum over the next three years. That's a kind of return potential which exists at this point of time, which is not a bad number because how many countries are there in the world where uh, people believe that earnings could grow between 12 and 18 percent? True. So then in, in, if that, that is the expectation in terms of this market, what kind of returns it could actually generate, what kind of sectors, what kind of themes would you like to focus on in the domestic space here? See, we still believe there is a massive opportunity in cyclicals, infrastructure, banking okay. and mid caps. So if you ask me, it is infrastructure, banking, mid caps and small caps. But remember, these are the more aggressive parts of yeah. the market. So when market corrections happen, if people say, will you get defense in mid caps, you're not going to get defense <laughs> in mid caps. So I think you will get better absolute returns over a period of time. But along with that, you will get more volatility. So if you are a time bound investor who wants to invest with a three to five of you, we recommend infrastructure, banking, mid cap and small cap. But with higher volatility during every market fall. There are any red flags. I mean, we've been in this sentiment bull run, yeah. uh, you know, up till May 16th, and after that, we've taken a little bit of a pause and saying, okay, you know, the rally's done. Let, let's really look at the reality at this point. Any red flags for you at this point? Yeah, I think clear red flags is that a lot of people who believe uh, over the last 10 months that you can make money in months. <laughs> I think uh, that phase uh, is possibly not as easy as it should be. And in my opinion, if from here in the near term, if the market gives you a huge return, markets will get overvalued. Mm. So I think uh, I wouldn't call red flags, but I am finding the task of communicating to people that last one year returns is clearly not sustainable. Mm. Yeah. And you have to aim for returns much more closer to what earnings can grow. That is, a, that is something we've been trying to convey to people. I won't call it red flag. I would call it that yeah, it yeah, is no longer today. as green a flag as it yeah. was. <laughs>